Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club. Normally this time we do a, a Wichita Postcard of the Week, but this time, this today, I want to do something a little bit different. I was uh, excited about a, a recent acquisition. A friend gave me a card from his family papers, and uh, it was a De Kansas Death Storm card. And a real photographic postcard showing the real thing. And uh, uh, I kind of, uh, as I was sorting through the cards, I laid it out to one side and wanted to look at it closer. And, uh, uh, and you can see uh, the menacing cloud of dust uh, coming toward the uh, camera uh, at the edge of, I mean, the dust is on the other edge of town and so forth. Anyway, this cloud reminded me of the horrible uh, explosion that they had just yesterday in Beirut, Lebanon. You've seen that cloud that came uh, off of that fire and explosion and so forth. But here I uh, found it on a similar situation uh, in this dust storm uh, picture. Normally, when we uh, think of dust storm postcards for Kansas, we think of the big storms in, in the 30s, 1934 and 1935, in Dodge City, in Garden City, in western Kansas. We had three, uh, at least three photographers that uh, uh, captured those moments on postcards and sold them for many years thereafter in death storm postcards. Their names were Potter, Stovall, and Pop Connard, Connard from uh, Garden City. Uh, what interested me about this one, this particular uh, new acquisition, is that on the back, this one is postmarked from Elkhart, Kansas, something that I've never seen before uh, on a, a dust storm card. And what really stood out is that it was postmarked December 10, 1924 either eight, nine, or ten years before the big death storms that were uh, talked about in the Ken Burns specials and so forth, having to do with the Death Bowl for western Kansas and eastern Colorado, uh, Texas, uh, Oklahoma, and so forth. And so I took pictures of both sides of this card and shared them with my friend Morgan Williams, who's a, a fellow dust storm collector, and he was clever and went to the uh, uh, research file of the Kansas State Historical Society in Topeka. All of this is online, and he was able to search back through newspapers, and he found this uh, little notice in the their, in the Tri-State News. Uh, dated uh, November 27th, 1924. And let me read it to you. It says, A very bad dust and sandstorm together with a raw north wind raged all day Sunday. It was so disagreeable that one did not tarry out of doors long, and a warm, comfortable house was the greatest thing to be desired. For sure, you can just think of the dust and the dirt and the wind and everything, and uh, how it would have seeped in around the edges and through the window panes uh, along the edges of the doors and so forth. It would have been a horrible thing to have uh, experienced. But this is a documentary postcard, and it's uh, interesting for those facts that I've already mentioned. And I thank uh, my friend, for the gift and uh, for being able to share this with you and what Morgan found out too, to uh, document for sure that this all happened in Elkhart, Kansas in 1924. Thank you, and I'll see you next week.